We're going to move on now to former BBC Royal correspondent and writer Michael Cole and top Royal insider Di Davies. Good morning to you, or good afternoon, or evening rather, to you uh, both. It's been a very long day in my end. I was presenting pretty much the breakfast show this morning. Michael Cole, what will be the train of thought and the feeling at Kensington Palace this evening in the wake of this announcement? Good evening, Ben. Well, I think Kensington Palace will be pleased that such a, a statement has been made. She was so calm, uh, she was so dignified, uh, such decorum and great humanity, even in the extremis of her own situation, reaching out to other cancer sufferers with messages of hope. Uh, Cancer doesn't discriminate. One in three of us will encounter cancer during our lives, but she's only 42, and she's undergoing what will be a protracted treatment, as we've already heard, in the glare of a spotlight that is never switched off, and at the same time, bringing up three young children uh, and doing so, uh, providing the comfort for them and the confidence that they can carry on with their normal lives without worrying too much about mummy being ill. And we also ought to think about Prince William. He's seen a bit in his life, you know. He was 15 when his mother met a terrible death in Paris and he had to stand there tall and unwavering uh, to get his younger brother, Harry, uh, through the grief in public. Uh, it couldn't have been more difficult for two children an ordeal no child should really have to go through. No. And then, of course, as no. a, a search and rescue uh, RAF pilot, uh, he saw people in, in danger. And flying for the East Anglian Air Ambulance, he put his helicopter down next to multi-vehicle motorway smashes where there were more dead people than survivors. So he must ask himself, what else has wor the world got to throw at me? Goodness me. And his, father, his father's cancer, it might, it's worth saying, Ben, uh, is, um, has tapped him on the shoulder and said that uh, he may have to ascend the throne a lot, a lot earlier uh, than he would otherwise do. And as your other speakers have said, at the same time, coping with the problem of a, a brother in California in their little Camelot on the hilltop there, sniping at him and saying some very disobliging, unkind and cruel things, and there they are in all their loveliness, uh, about the Princess of Wales to whom they've sent a message this evening, and not before time, because when she was admitted to hospital, they uttered not one word of comfort mm. or fellow feeling. I mean, they, 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 obviously they're not here to defend themselves. They may have done privately. Di Davies, isn't it a crying shame that in Prince William's and Catherine's darkest hour, I mean, Catherine and uh, Harry, Prince Harry, were notoriously very close. Apparently she treated him like his little, her little brother. Isn't it a shame that William can't now turn to his brother at a time like this? Well, yes, of course. But, of course, he does have his in-laws, and they've been invaluable for years now as a strong family, and they've had things thrown at them. But despite all of that, they maintain a dignified silence, as indeed William has. In, in terms of my old job as security, I'm so pleased that the British uh, security have managed to keep her away from the press until she has chosen actually to come out tonight with that dignified statement. She makes me feel so proud that she is going to be our future queen. And boy, didn't she sound like a future queen. So I hope that everyone, including the media, please, can we just leave the woman alone, leave her family alone, and can we now concentrate on even bigger world news? I think most of us have had more than enough of the sniping the sniding that's been going on, can we please leave them alone and allow the, allow the prince just to get on and help his family? That's my appeal to okay. everyone listening. Well, both of you, apologies, it's so short. We've got so much to cram in, but we really appreciate you, you being with us tonight. Michael Cole and Di Davies, thank you so much.